Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming, and this is The Walking Dead March to War. Today we're going to do a little bit of leveling up, and this is the first screen when I open the game. So I'll talk about this for one second. This is a different currency, obviously. So this may be a very good deal. It says battle your enemies, and the first thing that pops up, you get 500 bullets, you can get some Michonne covers, some Amira covers. All these things look like things that I may need. But remember, we're doing this uh, preview a couple months in advance, so I know when some people watch it when the game goes live in the States and different areas, they're going to be like, Kills, you should know what all this stuff means. But we're learning it all together. So let me go ahead and close that out and really get into what is going on. You can see we start out with a leaderboard. We've got the 999 army there. I don't know what all this stuff means. I want to learn it. There are some factions out there ready to fight, and I will get with some of these good factions a little bit later on. Someone did join the 999 army. I just wished I knew how to... Uh, community here we go um yeah we got uh, me and some other people here that shows our rank all right we'll get to the leader board a little bit later on it's not about really leaderboards at this point because the game is not all the way across the world so what i want to do is i want to go in talk a little bit about leveling up some of the things that you can do i am going to play a little bit offline so i just like going in my city for some reason because to me that's where all the stuff just kind of seems to happen i can go in i kind of collect my food I do like collecting me some food. I can go in and collect my salvage supplies. But I was interested in this warehouse. So let's go ahead and level up the warehouse and get a little bit of info on it. So houses, food, salvage. Um, so this is a basic place to store all your stuff. So you got protected food, protected salvage. So I guess when you start getting attacked a little bit later on, you want this bad boy to be a little bit higher. So absolutely, I'm going to upgrade this because it's not even 10-minute upgrade time. And that looks like you saw the little uh, fist up there. That is called, uh, that's my power. All right, so you're l you get more power, and that increases your level. So that's how I got to level three, if you guys were wondering. Ooh, I can change my picture. I'm kind of a sweet-looking dude, though, right there. I think, uh, you guys think I should, am I even a dude? Oh, I don't even know. You know what? I might need to get an avatar that I can definitely tell whether I'm a dude or not a dude. How about this guy? This guy's got a nice, uh, this guy's got a nice haircut. All right, that's going to be me going forward. Let me know if you guys like that. Actually, you know what? Let's look through a few avatars. I'm gonna, st I'm liking that avatar right there. Uh, this guy looks like a uh, real anorexic version of Daryl right there. Um, we got a dude with a hood. Uh, got this guy with a bandana, cowboy hat. That looks like the guy in Fear the Walking Dead. All right, I'm gonna stay with what I got. So player profile is good. Let's go ahead and. Check out. Let's level this up, too. Anything that I can level up at this point, I'm just going to upgrade it. Not doing any instant upgrades, but I'm going to do any of these things that are within 10 minutes, because this is really what it's all about. Get a few more levels under our belt. Um, I still don't know whether to build another range or another infirmary. Broadcast towers level 2. What is it going to take me to? i got to search for survivors. Um... Steve Simmons, Eleanor Zhao, Dale Easterbrook, or Dana? Hmm. Wait, this Dale guy, he's got something. Accuracy. All right. And now, you know what? Oh, shoot. I got to recruit him now. I'll bring him on. That's my second Dale, though. Can I recruit more? Oh, you got to pay to recruit more. Just keep that in mind. I'm not spending any of my bullets as of yet. Council, I want to upgrade one more time. Requirements, level three headquarters. I did that. So you guys can see a little bit of how it works. Level three headquarters, warehouse level two. I wish I knew how to unlock the uh, lumber. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit of stuff behind the scenes. Unless I just want to build a bunch of food pallets. But I guess I could... Destroy that stuff a little bit later on if we needed to. And I've got six plots over here. So any of these things could be used. And broadcast. Let me go ahead and upgrade the broadcast tower too. I like that static in the background. All right, so it's 10 minute upgrade. So let's see once it winds down five seconds. There it is. So it doesn't have to be under 10 minutes once it winds down. I mean, I know it's a minor detail, but once it winds down to that 10 minute period, you can see and... There's going to be some stuff up here that's going to unlock at level 10 and level 15. So, there we go. Still level 3, still holding my own. 
figuring this stuff out. If you guys have played this, if you're uh, in a different country and this is live and you got a few tips, then definitely do that. Um, daily objectives. So this is pretty cool. This is just like my daily missions I can go out and do. I'm going to do some of those. And uh, scheduled maintenance. So it looks like they want to uh, give me some free stuff. To receive your bullets, please delete this message. Deleted. Did I get the bullets? And these are some of the other missions that I've gotten. So two, Father Gab. Uh, actually, I got three. Okay. And let's go ahead and collect this. Ooh, 100 bullets. All right, and I guess once you do it, you can just delete it. Uh, Patrick sent me a message. Mm, not going to read that just live because, you know what, I got some, some people that love me on YouTube, and I got some people that have sent me some uh, pretty irate messages. So sorry, Patrick, it might be an innocent message, but, uh, yeah, I don't have to delete it just in case. All right, let's see what this thing is right here. Okay, this is the market, so I can go in um, and look at my inventory. That's what I have, and if I want to go in and buy stuff, you can use some of these bullet bullets to buy more items. So what I really am interested in is these. Are there covers down here that I can buy in the market? It's got to be. Nope. Hmm. You do have ceasefire, but and because you have ceasefire, that definitely confirms to me there is some PvP action going on. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, we got research upgrades, all of the above. So... I think it's time. Allows unlocking of Gabrielle, additional talents to thresholds. Okay. Let's get on over to the uh, council headquarters and see what's going on there. Manage the council. So, Amir is level 2. Carl is level 2. Complete 10, level 3 above, clear walker missions. Uh, I could probably handle that. And then I'm going to unlock a few additional people. So I don't have any air in covers, and it looks like the only way I'm going to get them is just to get out, get out in the streets and make this stuff happen. Why do I keep going to my inventory? Search for survivor and take everything. All right, well, that's one of my missions, so I'm going to have to do that. I don't like to do that because I like to build up my team a little bit. All right, let's go out and uh, let's go out in the wilderness. I ain't dealing with Connor. But I will. Okay. Looks like you, uh, there's the rewards. All right, now we're getting to some action here. So I'm going to begin this mission. I'm going to send the raid. Let's see. I'm going to send Carl, of course. Oh, I'm going to send Skip, 88 and I'm going to send that. So it's a 100% chance of success. Hopefully, Carl doesn't get injured. We don't lose anybody. And I know a lot of people are expecting just tons of hack and slash and those type of things. But what appears to happen is you can do multiple of these raids. And there's going to be a strategy, and you can speed them up. So you can basically be collecting and looting and do a lot of different things to different people. So right there, you can see one of two. The mission is complete. gives you a timer. So you can tell kind of what's going on with it. And in nine seconds, eight seconds, everyone will be back. If I want to speed it up, I could tap on something and do that. But I ain't messing with this dude, uh, Connor Howard, up there. He's level six. No sense in dealing with that noise right now. I'm going to do PvP when I'm ready to do PvP. All right, I'm going to check out. All right, that's Carl's objective. Oh, I, I got tons of objective. Okay, I got it. So if you click this thing down here with a check mark, it's all the things that I've pretty much already done. Oh, I'm racking up now. Okay, upgrade a food pallet. I'll do that a little bit later. So one of the ob objectives was to just look around this map a little bit. Some level threes out there. What is this? What is this level two? Is that 
feel like a newbie. Oh, it's a walker swarm. All right, so a swarm of walkers threatens everyone. Rally your community to clear this out. I'll, I'm going to view the swarm. Okay, not going to do that yet. That's 678 walkers. So this is when you're in a big faction and you can just attack stuff. So we'll deal with that a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and uh, start this mission here. I'm going to send Carl out again. This time, I think I'm going to send Dale. Oh, that's a 100% chance right there. And you know what? While I have that going on, I'm going to I'm going to go two for one special here. Can I do that? Begin this mission. I'm going to send Amira. Only 19% skip. And Lee Ashcroft. Let's get that going as well, too. So you can see multiple missions happening at the same time. I know this was level up, but I, I do want to show you guys all the stuff. All right, so it looks like at this level, I can only do two missions. One is complete, pops up. So if you tap on the little footprint there, that shows you the status of where your missions are. I don't know what that does. I'll find out later, and I don't know what that does. Whoa, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. So while your missions are going on, you can be doing some um, town stuff. It's all about this energy up there. So what I would recommend is get to a certain level. Start taking some stuff over. So you get supplies, you can get covers, you can unlock more characters. And it, it looks like this could be one of those games that it's a race just to get your characters, get rare items, and get leveled up as quick as possible. So I've got another 20 seconds. So why all that's happening in the background? Um, let's level up my supply thing, man. We gotta. This stuff is like level one. Yes, we're definitely gonna upgrade that. I don't know why I didn't upgrade it before. Why didn't you guys tell me to upgrade it before? I feel like we're trying to, man. All right, here we go. Let's upgrade that. So I got rewards happening. I've got upgrades happening. I'm just going to stock all this stuff for now. Let's take this up to level 3. Oh, it requires a level 3 warehouse. Can't store more stuff. And we're going to go ahead and claim. Alright, so this gives you guys just a little bit of the gist of it. I'm going to do some leveling. Like, like I said, I'm going to level these buildings. Get them as max as I can behind the scenes. I'm sure there's going to be some purchases, some power-ups, all of the above. Let me go back out. You can see my walker missions are done. And once again, I go, I love this market. This market is great. There's my mission report. So I got those uh, Father G covers. Some more Father... I'm going to... Oh, okay. I collected it, but then I deleted it. That's not a problem. I'm going to delete that as well. And what I want to do one more time before we leave you guys, you can see the gameplay starting to happen gradually. Um, I'm going to go into Manage Council. And scroll down there, you can see Father G, 7 out of 20. So once I unlock him, it's going to create some whole new avenues there. You can see Rosita, Rick, a few other people. So it's all about that cancel, cancel, and, council and then uh, doing what it is that they ask you to do. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This is The Walking Dead March to War Level Up. So if you have any questions, comments, advice, leave it in the uh, area down below, and I'll get more gameplay for you guys each and every day so we can start to... Uh, roll this thing out together. Thanks once again. Peace.